This demo shows how easy it is to find and fix important problems in your Encompass with Lawn Debugger. Here is a brand new lawn with basic summary filled out. To start Lawn Debugger, you click on the button at the bottom right. It takes a few seconds to load since filling out basic 1003 generates more than 200,000 lines of debug output. Now analyzing it manually is pretty time consuming and that's where a lawn debugger helps. It uh, summarizes all the events and all the errors as well as triggers calculations and fields into a separate area which is much easier to review. Now this, uh, this is a list of potential errors. So in my case I had 64 potential errors that happened when I was filling out 1003. And uh, not all of those errors are real errors. Like for example, in this case, we are converting an empty string into double, which doesn't happen and field is cleared. Sometimes it's intentional to have fields which are empty as opposed to having a zero in them. Now this is a real error, which is uh, just a typo. Instead of field 4000, I have field 40,000, which simply doesn't exist. And it shows that it's uh, happening inside this field trigger name into CX test one. Now, if we scroll down, we'll have more different errors. Like for example, FE0197, FE0297. This is just a small bug in Encompass calculations and uh, eventually LMA will fix it. So this can be ignored. Now, this is an interesting situation when you import uh, uh, FICO calculations into Encompass. Normally they use fields for all the borrow borrower pairs and uh, not all of these borrower pairs will exist in your loan and uh, these errors are commonly generated in debug log uh, when you don't really have all the borrower pairs. So all of such errors can be ignored just as for example the brand new errors that happened in Encompass 2015 calculations where new had two fields are not found and they happen very often like a lot. And uh, what happens is in between those uh, common errors, there can be real errors, like for example here, CXCalc1 is a real error because it's a field which I had and then I deleted. There is a feature in Lawn Debugger which allows to ignore all of these common errors. All you do is you click this checkbox and then it cleans up the list and only the errors that you should focus on remain. So as you can remember, we had 64 errors and now we only have 12. And uh, it's significantly easier to go through all of these errors now and uh, make sure that you focus only on your important errors that you may potentially fix, such as, for example, test 111 doesn't exist. For example, field 354 does not exist. Or, for example, I'm dividing uh, some amount by zero and I might as well check it out what's wrong with my rule. I hope you liked this demo and I hope you'll use Lawn Debugger for your own compass. Thank you.